I'm here at the uh, Des Moines International Airport. Uh, I'm getting ready to do a flight. There's some planes out there getting ready to take off. I just wanted to share with you a couple of really interesting stories um, about technology and the internet that have broken this week. And one of the stories that you've probably seen is this um, story about Google and Yahoo and Microsoft. Um, you know, one of the things about the internet is that everybody's always trying to invent the next new thing and some people are trying to buy the last old thing and become bigger and create something new with it. So uh, Microsoft's offer to buy uh, Yahoo is, is interesting because it's raising all kinds of questions about whether Microsoft is going to become too big, is going to threaten competitiveness with Google, and there's always fear about Microsoft. Uh, the Europeans are always worried about it, and there's a lot of fear about privacy and about people's uh, personal information. So that's a story um, that I think fits directly into our discussions about electronic government and e-democracy and also how government regulates um, in an era of um, tremendous financial deals that are made everywhere and of uh, a lot of concern about concentration in the industry. The other story is in over here in another um, article that I have. And if you've tried to send something uh, on the internet to India or communicate with um, some of the countries in the Indian subcontinent, uh, as well as the Middle East, you may have found that the internet was down. Uh, we rely on the internet so much, and yet it's very fragile. And uh, underground cable was cut under the ocean, and it basically trashed the internet. So, when you guys log on, when you guys do your work with the internet, remember. Um, it's not very robust, yet it requires uh, copper wires and fiber optic wires. See you guys later in class.